Hello, this is the Adaptive and Responsive Nanomaterials Lab in the Department of Chemical Engineering at University College London. And you join me, Alaric Taylor, for our final instalment of this video series in which we look at the detail of the Langmuir Blodgett nanoparticle deposition process. Irving Langmuir worked together with both Catherine Blodgett and Vincent Schaefer to develop strategies for depositing monolayers of molecules trapped at the air-water interface onto solid substrates. Today, we'll be looking at Catherine Blodgett's method. Blodgett's method was to first identify the direction in which the water's meniscus made contact with the solid substrate, i.e. hydrophilic or hydrophobic, and found that one could make a successful transfer of monolayer material from the air-water interface onto the solid substrate by passing it through the interface in the same direction. For example, with a hydrophilic material such as glass, the substrate is withdrawn from beneath the surface in order to form a steadily receding drying line, the point at which the molecules or particles which are mobile at the interface become immobilised on the substrate. If we are using a hydrophilic substrate, we need to pre-submerge it so deposition can be performed on the upward stroke. Now, prepare your trough and spread your monolayer material at the air-water interface as described in our previous videos. OK, so we have our barriers fully open and a sufficient quantity of our monolayer material spread at the air-water interface. Based on our previous isotherms, we'll compress the monolayer to a point close to its solid phase before making our deposition. Once we reach this point, deposition can begin. Our slide is withdrawn at a continuous rate, for example 1 mm per minute, and our barrier is compressed in order to maintain a constant surface pressure over the full course of the deposition cycle. And there we have it, a monolayer of nanoparticles deposited on our glass slide. The technique isn't limited to just gold or polystyrene nanoparticles, or flat substrates for that matter. I encourage you to go ahead and experiment for yourself, and thank you for watching.